the thing um so so what's going on right now is that um daly's place has been contacted there are people oh, wow. there for june 17th so you know basically this is I, I i don't know this this is not anything that 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 tony khan has said nor will he say anything on on, on this at all you know but the basic gist is what it seems is that you know he said he's going to announce the location of the first show june 17th they do have the united center booked they are working on booking daly's place um in daly's place the people have been told it's a backup plan it's not the a plan um so chicago is still in place so um i think that the basic thing is is they either settle it and he announces the united center and punk is back or they don't and if they don't i think you know i mean from my standpoint i think that that that's got to be it you know but yeah you, you should never say that because i you know it's never it but <laughs> but um this was this was a a real bad situation the way it went down i mean whether whatever you know if you whatever the the thing is it, it was just a a very bad situation here's my question Th this one thing if this is the one thing that is the line in the sand so to speak the ace steel being able to show up and, and work as a producer or whatever his role is going to be that seems like a small thing compared to the other hurdles that they have come across and have Ab been okay I, I, with it absolutely you're absolutely right so what is the, what why is this one the one that is the seemingly the, the line in the sand um because there was going to be a line in the sand at some point you know you can't keep um you know what i mean you can't keep making demands um and always get what you want and at some point it's you know it's, you know what i mean and it maybe it's gone way past that point i don't know because but, that's what that's what it feels like it feels like that this well, it's, is it's more not, of a, bu a build up to uh, things than the uh, thing of course it is of course it is it's been going on since probably the day he signed you know i mean and and you know it and and it was fine and i think people were very happy the first couple of months because he was drawing and he was happy and you know when you're a star you get to make those demands it's not even a bad thing every star does but at some point you know there's um you know when you 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 can get jobs for your friends it's that's that's wrestling it's always happened um but it's you know that, that it's a really you know at and and you know there's i i don't know i mean there's there's again the, you the, the thing that happened um on uh tuesday you know when he pulled out and they had to redo that that was a that was a real bad situation because i mean i'm just saying looking at it and i talked about it on wednesday and i wrote about it it's like you know i i, I you know thought like a AEW collision uh they're going to make this big announcement it's going to be so exciting and then i looked at those names you know and the press release you know has thunder rosa you know nothing against will hobbs and thunder rosa and and samoa joe and andrade and miro and and you know and any of them right but it was just like i'm reading this and going like you've got a new show on a saturday night and these are your flagship stars and, and we've already seen what happened to rampage and saturday i think i think saturday's you know it's a better time slot eight to ten is obviously better than 10 to 11 but man the competition they're going to face every single week there's no easy weeks it's not like wednesday where at least when the nba is over they're they're going to get a little bit of a break and um you know and vanderpump's over and whatever but it's this is like man saturday night you're going against something you know i mean not as much in the summer because baseball games until the playoffs aren't that big draws you know except for occasional games but but you're oh but there's always saturday night you know there's every you know every every big fight is saturday night every big fight and in the fall you know come on in the fall that's worse than i i don't know i, I mean because less people are, are home and more people go out i think that um 
I think the Saturday is a worse night in the fall than than Monday even. Or sun, sun, I mean, Sunday would be even worse because there's so many big shows on Sunday. But Monday is really bad because of the NFL, you know. But I think Saturday because of college football because it's not, you know, it's not one national game on on ESPN. College football is on, you know, several networks in prime time, several different games, you know, however many ten whatever cable games. I mean, there's so much of it. And it's, it's like, and, and, you know, you still have, you know, other things that are going on as well, like the fights, you know, on fight nights and stuff and the WWE pay-per-views, you know, once a month, you know, which, you know, that's at minimum a WWE pay-per-view on a Saturday night. You're talking about a million viewers um, in the United States and a big one can be, you know, I mean, a, you know, WrestleMania night, right. Could, is probably two and a half more, two and a half million or more. And, you know, Royal Rumble is is two million or more, you know, and next year would would, you know, will probably be a little higher than this year, or, you know, if as, as homes increase for Peacock. Maybe not because this year's this year is a hot year. But you know what I'm saying? You know, it's like it, with with punk, I could sit there and go, well, punk is is a superstar and he can draw and he can talk and there's going to be interest and whether it would sustain or not. I don't know. Um, I think that it would have been very tough. But it's a fighting chance. And again, I don't know how much they were expecting from Saturday anyway, because the people who who agreed to this are TV people and they know they know as well as you and I the competition because that's their business. So I mean the expectations were probably not super high. What does Turner normally draw on Saturdays? Um you know, I I I think you know a couple hundred thousand probably because last week. I just looked it up specifically to look at what, what they did last week. The only show on Saturday that was in the top 50 was Rampage, and it was like 47 or something. So that was Rampage. the only Ram, Ram, Rampage did a, did a bad rating pattern on, on, on Saturday night last week. That was not good. But, you know, Rampage and, you know, Rampage is going to now on Fridays be, a, you know, an afterthought. I mean, its numbers are going to Rampage numbers are going to be are, are going to be hurt by this for sure. Um but you know you need like like i said like at this point there's got to be a total reevaluation of this saturday show and it's got to be you know you you know um you've got to have these some of these guys working twice a week you know the 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 danielsons and the moxleys and the kenny omegas and young bucks and ftr and all of them because it's no longer there's no point in isolationist you know and have two separate brands um i mean the reason for two separate brands was was largely punk you know, is a way to appease punk and keep problems from happening, and um, which which they would have. And I mean, it was actually I, I I thought a smart thing, even though a lot of people go, oh, you know, you should just make everyone work together. It's just not that easy because there's there's a black cloud and there's a, you know it's 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 just there just is. And it's not any you know if you really look at 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 what's going down in the legal situation, and that's which is actually the really you know, big thing that's kept everything from, from being resolved. If it even could be, you know, if again, I haven't, nobody has attempted to resolve it. Um, you know, I mean, people have given lip service to it, but I mean, true attempt. I mean, I guess there was a small attempt, but not really. And so this was like his way of, you know, trying to do two things, get it, you know, get a new TV show. And getting his big drawback and um you know um you know getting getting a lot of guys more airtime you know because you can um you know it, with a split brand or whatever or, or just with the extra two hours of airtime it's what you know i mean um there's more time for more people to you know hopefully get over and show themselves and, and become stars in theory um so it it sounded really good but now it's um you know, I think that they, you know, the battle plan, you know, the battle, battle plan is going to change until June 17th when it starts. And it will change after June 17th every week based on who was watching, who's not and what's going on and competition and things like that. So it's like when people go, it's going to be a soft split or a hard split or it's going to be split. And it's like, you know, whatever the answer is today is going to change tomorrow. Yeah. And, gonna, you know, so it's it's almost like when it starts, it starts 
based on who is available, based on everything, and then we'll see. You can also find me at Vincent Verhey on Cameo. Oh, my God. I will send you a happy birthday wish. <laughs> I will send you a happy anniversary wish. Granny, you ever thought about being on Cameo? What is it? My computer, my front page is uh, Microsoft, and I g go through there and see all kinds of lies and stuff like that. And here you are, you're doing a commercial, and then you had me on there when I was ranting about WrestleMania. Did you get my permission? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, what? Just, what? Just stop you're, for a second. Your front page is Microsoft. I guess. I don't even know what that means, your front page is Microsoft. What do you mean you go through there and see all the lies? What does that mean? Well, they have a whole bunch of stuff, you know, about this and that and this and that, you know, all kinds like of news. Like the news? News? I don't post the videos. I don't edit the videos. If you saw some video or some commercial, I have no idea what it is or where it came from or who edited it together. I'm sure it was someone from the site. It's not, no, Tony, it's not Tony and it's not Dave and it's not me. And it's not Vinny, he's busy doing cameos. That's right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.